oh hey guys, uh, you might not recognize me. Um, if you're new to this channel, basically I'm kind of the backbone of Spurred On. Been away for a while though, uh, but I kind of hold all this shit together. But I've been away for a month, been at the Edinburgh Fringe doing my stand-up comedy show. And in true Spursy fashion, I did not win the main award, despite having the best comedy show in the history of comedy in the entire world. But you know who else hasn't won for a month? Tottenham! The whole time I've been away, we haven't won. Unbelievable. So Spursy, so typical. We never start seasons well. Oh, but Reese, weren't you 2 0 up against Stoke at home in the 80th minute? Yeah, but then second half, we stopped playing football, switched off, conceded two goals, and dropped two points. Oh, but Reese, weren't you also 1 0 up against Leicester in the 81st minute? Yes, but then in the 82nd minute, we switched off again after the kickoff, started staring at our boots, Nasser Chadley, and let Mares get in and score again. Four points dropped. Welcome to Spursy. That's not all, though, in this week's Spursy. This week's Spursy involves possibly the Spursiest deadline day in recent memory because despite consistent interest, meetings, negotiations, agreements, even training ground facility tours, we are still left with the malignant tumour that is Emmanuel Adebayor. Just go, mate. Just get out. Take the hint. In fact, it's not even a hint anymore. Just go. You had one good season, like you always do, but that season is now a distant memory in the mind of a divorced dad going through a rough custody battle in which neither of the parents are willing to accept custody because their son is a good-for-nothing, work-shy, perpetually offside, moron footballer who can't see when he's not wanted. But now we might even need you because of Berahino Gate. Four bids. Four bids. No, 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 no. Picture the scene, okay? All summer, all we need is a striker. Not all we need, but the main thing we need is a striker. We've only got one striker listed on our website, and sure, it's Harry Kane, but that's too much pressure on one man's shoulders, okay? It gets to deadline day, our consistent summer target, Berahino. We're after him. We've had two bids rejected already, but we know it's deadline day. This is the time we can really get him, okay? We know that West Brom value him at 25 million. And we decide, with an hour and a half left to go, to put in a bid of five million up front plus add-ons. Embarrassing. Tony Pulis says go yourself, and rightly so, and that what do we have to do? We have to go ourselves. And now what have we done? We've put Adebayor back on the website, listed as a striker, despite not even having a squad number, and that is us absolutely going and ourselves. We have it, the season's over, we've ruined everything, it's the Spursiest start to a season I've ever seen, I'm never doing Spursy again, it's too depressing, if I keep doing this, I am going to kill myself, or someone, I don't know who, maybe you Daniel Levy, this is the end of Spursy, from here on in, I'm burying my head in the sand, I'm not looking at anything, I'm just being positive. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click like on the video, follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV, a new era of positivity. Hi guys, it's Barnaby, it's Spurred On, and it is the end of transfer deadline day. That's right, it's just gone six o'clock. Sky Sports News has gone into meltdown. Spurs fans have gone into meltdown.